Alrighty, hello again YouTube. I am Asher Ninja. This is Malekith. And once more, you should still subscribe to my channel. Because, you know, I said so. Now, looking at the situation around Nagarond. I now have, well, soon to be four armies literally just hanging around. I don't particularly like that. So, what I'm thinking I'm going to have to do is start cracking skulls. I don't like having old uh, bitch tits hang around so much. Ooh, Dark Pegasus, hello. What was I doing again? Oh, that's right. I was going to start attacking all of these armies. Now I've got a benefit in the fact that I can lightning strike. This is why we make sure that we get our uh, levels up so quickly. Now, uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, let me make sure we do this the right way. Oh no, Mother we've actually got... Mm, that's right, I've got a trade agreement with them still. So. I might actually need to not do that. Yes. that so let's uh... I can't go into ambush mode there. Not in their zone of control. So I'll go to ambush there. And see if they decide to besiege Nagarond at some stage. Now have I actually spent this money? Yes. Now see really what they should be doing. Because I'm pretty sure they're at war with them. They are. So they actually should be attacking. Bloody... Ashrak. What I could do is I could actually join that war. Fine. So that will increase the relationship with her. Get a non aggression. No. So if we join that war, that just means that she's going to be a little like, oh, maybe. Maybe he's not going to be so bad after all. Uh, sometimes it works and they'll just kind of go, oh, uh, and then amble their armies away, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen this time around. Uh, what do you want? You want a non-aggression pact with me. Um, uh, I am actually going to take that for now. That'll probably upset uh, the old lady, though, Harganeth. That's all right. Yeah, it'll upset Hellebron, but that's, that's not too big a deal. If I didn't have that uh, other pact with her, I'd just go to war with her. But yeah, I'm at war with him. I don't know with her. Did that actually upset us? No. So that's now improving. Alright, now I've got a non aggression pack, so that should be enough to have her ease off a little. Maybe. Uh, we still need more growth. What do we? Uh, I think I'll get rid of that growth building actually. Black Ark is ready to upgrade. That's fantastic. Fear me. And yeah, we all fear you. You're scary. Boogie boogie boogie. There we go. That's what we needed. Now our armies will piss off somewhere else. So eventually what I want to do is I actually want to confederate her. Because Crone Hellebron is actually quite uh, a decent legendary lord to have. Oh, he's coming here. Can we win that? It's possible we can actually win that. So. We will make them bleed! Let's see if we can. Now, 
Now the Shades are probably going to try and flank us on one side or the other. Uh, they don't have any large. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to bleak swords. Now bleak swords. Actually, yeah, bleak swords can be our center line dark with dark shards behind them. Dread spears. Dread spears are gonna hold each flank. Nagorothi. And dark, riders. dark riders with shields. I'm gonna get micromanaged a bit. Now, Dark Riders with shields are oh, crap. They're kind of like having uh, Lyrian Reavers without the spears. So I really don't expect a lot from them, but hopefully they can do enough damage with rear charges or hunting down shade that they might be able to do something useful. Covered hidden Eager foes, battle. that's good. Awaits. Murder awaits. Bloody murder. Truki, forward. Mm, you're Moving that's out. right, you're a spellcaster, aren't you? Onward. Change your stance there. Dark riders. Forward. That's good, they're in range of us. So we can do pretty good stuff there. Lots of disruption here. I'll oh, we'll have to move them forward a bit. And because of that, move them forward. See if we can get the Dark Riders into one of these Shades units. That Master is going to be a problem, but that's okay. No, hit the Shades, don't worry about the Master. Dark Riders are actually not going to do very well in that combat. Mostly about the disruption. I'll charge in there. So we're not doing too badly at the moment. This is a. Come out again. Bloody murder! Attack! Bloody murder! Yeah, we'll probably cop a lot of uh, friendly fire from that. That's alright. I'm not too concerned. Uh, Cold-blooded killers! Merciless warriors! Bleak swords! Murder awaits! That's still have plenty of melee units to bring in here. Dread spears. Okay, we get them both heading that way instead. It's good. It's fine, let them withdraw, get the bleak swords in there, get these guys back. Uh, Nagarothi advancing. Eager for battle. Battle ready. Merciless warriors. Oh, they're doing badly against them, so we pull out. Death is coming. Cold-blooded killers! No mercy! Eager for battle! 
Uh, our battle line's a bit, bit messy, but I think we'll be okay. Let's get them down here to help out these guys. Battle ready. Where are my horses? Oh, they're doing very badly over there. So let's pull them out. Let's see if we can get the dark shards into them now. Oh yeah. Onwards to murder. Pull back. Battle ready. Going. Forward. Onward. Moving out. Going. We are ready. Glorious destruction. They're gonna kind of fuck each other up a bit there, but let's see if we can get a bit of destruction in. Beautiful. And that is their army loss penalty. Let's get rid of that. You guys chase them. There we go. Nicely defended there. Good, good. There we go. They came at us with an army, but they've left with uh, the shattered remnants of ones. Our dark shards did a good job. Those bleak swords actually do pretty well as well. Dark riders suck as expected. I don't know what they think that army's going to be able to achieve now. They'll probably just do some raiding or something. Power it's about as useful as a useless thing in a bag. Alright, let's see. Speed for Dread Speeds, Dark Shards, Bleak Lords. That's not too bad, but we are going to move away from them. Uh, Black Card Corsair units. Uh, I'm going to take that one. Malekith, King of Nagaroth. I don't want to go marching him into the unknown at the moment. Uh, but I do want more public order at the moment. Uh, he doesn't really need Quartermaster. I don't think we'll worry about that for him. Not yet, anyway. Um, and a saleable arm piercing for all units when defending. Weapon strength for all you. Yeah, okay. That looks alright. My revenge is at hand. Ooh, right, so he can actually get another bolt thrower now. From the local. It only takes one turn to recruit. We can actually get rid of one of them and we'll pick up that extra pick up that bolt thrower. So you definitely want two of those. What a 
exactly is. I think that's Grond. What's Grond gonna do? I want to know. Yeah, I'm gonna flee. Yeah, and that raiding as expected. That's alright. That's not a big deal. It's these bony boys down here that are a bit of a concern. So let's move a little slowly. Slowly, slowly. Uh, currently, military presence. So they've got military presence there. Okay, that's 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Harkadra has made a level. We're going to go with that building. So I am trying to get this a bit under control at the moment. We can always relinquish out that control later on. Do not but us for now. Um, let's also take a Master disciplined Master. Master. Not exactly what we want, but that's okay. Master of Nagara. I'm gonna use him I as a scout for now. Then we'll be able to reduce our slave decline rate. Okay, you want trade as well, you know, we will trade with them for now. That'll change later on. I'll get rid of the agreements, that sort of thing. Grund is still raiding. So I might send the master up there, see what he can actually do against an army and that'll get him some uh, points. Points! Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a rebellion. So we better get Malekith back over. Racto Gorge. Uh, we need to upgrade your walls a bit. Uh, at the moment, apparently, we can't. Tax rate up by 5%, that's good. Um, first thing we'll do here is let's send him to scout for her. Uh, we can look into assault units and wound. Okay, wound doesn't look like it will work, so. Still got an imminent rebellion. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. These disruptive dark elves. I don't want to just go marching down through there with treacherous treachery probably inevitable because he likes being Lord treacherous that's using those words far too often uh, Racto Gorge I really really want to be able to put a wall in there but it's just got to wait Burn them. That's what we do with vermin in Nagaroth. We burn them. Grab them by the tail. Get the lighter. Now I don't actually do that. Just in case you feel like talking to Peter about me or something. Wouldn't actually do that to animals. Oh, look at that! It's a chaos rebellion this time as well. It's because we've just had beastmen hanging around far too bloody long. Got to do something about that. Maybe that should be my next stop for him. But for now, Chaos Rebellion is too far away, so that's not good. My lord. But he can come along and assault units, so that's, that's good. He could fail at it at least. So that's uh, partial credit. Uh, Racto Gorge, I'm not going to build anything this turn because I want to get those walls in before I worry about it. Uh, but with all of those buildings, we might be looking at our last rebellion. Which could be good because now they're going to have a decent amount of troops. 
after being able to sit there for a turn. The council of the Witch King. Which doesn't help very much. That's alright, we might get a decent sized battle before the end of the episode. Ah, that's good. That might keep the Exiles of Nehek from heading towards Racto Gorge for another turn. Oh, Vidamar, you've made your entrance. Okay, now he has... Jesus. Where's that kind of army at this point? That's just ridiculous. Ah, that damages him a little. Oh, they've got a hell cannon as well. Fuck. Alright, so, help with a hell cannon, that's a bit of a bugger, but we should be able to waste its ammo, hopefully. Yep, you're a tyrant in training, that's good. Um, I've got a couple of options. Got magic. They don't have any shooting the other than the hell cannon. Okay, sorry, have three units of chosen. Jeez, that's gonna be nasty. Chaos knights with lances. I'm a little worried about as well. All of my all of my melee is anti-large. Oh, let's get in. Do I auto resolve? I reckon that's probably better than what I'd be able to achieve against that. So, I am going to actually auto resolve that because I'm a scaredy little girly cat. That gives me a decisive victory and 365 slaves. And we're almost back up to full strength as well. I think I'm going to head north with him. So, that we can have a chat with these beastmen that are still hanging around. Uh, Racto Gorge, you can have walls, and same with Hark Leader. Racto Gorge can also have. I'm gonna get them a slave pen as well, but I can't afford that just yet, so. A chance to That'll be a next turn thing. Maybe? So I wanna give them one as well. That'll work I quite well. Alright, so we've got him all the way through there. Now, we, this is where you've really got to decide how you want to play your uh, campaign, in my opinion. So, this is your... This is what I want to do, or this is what I want to do. So, War Leader makes you... You know, minus... You know, it gives, gives you a, f a few little perks, like, you know, lowers your or lowers your upkeep cost, all that sort of stuff. So lots of, bit of load there for looting and sacking. Better replenishment rate, which is good. Don't get me wrong. And that's, you know, income and all that sort of stuff. But in the end, you're going to make a lot of income anyway. So what I think you should do is go tyrant. You get better public order and tax rate. And you get, you reduce your slave decline rate as well. So less slaves disappearing and you get less public court penalty and you get more income from those slaves uh you get better can you have better diplomat diplomatic relations with other dark elves um you know i much prefer the tyrant way of doing things just because yeah you, you you're still you're gonna make an you're gonna make uh individually probably more money but this is going to be better for your overall campaign so it's all, a lot more faction-wide bonuses and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be going for Tyrant. And we're going through those ones there. Uh, I'm also going to do the Red Line, of course. And I'm not actually going to do his magic. I don't really think his magic's worth it, in my opinion. I'm not even going to go for Arcane Conduit. Um, I'm going to go through his Fighting Line and get him a Seraphon. So he is going to be an absolute beast in combat. Um, the sorceress, though, she is doing nicely, and we're going to give her earthing now. 
finally. Master in here, who I'm probably going to get take out of here fairly soon. Let's give him more defense and hit points. Yeah, that's looking pretty good there. The people are displeased. The people are displeased, but that's to be expected. They are dark elves. I'm pretty sure if they're not slaughtering somebody, they're pretty displeased. So that's fine. But now, though, so in the end, what you want to do is you want to actually consolidate this province so that you don't actually have to deal with rebellions in it anymore. And what I intend on doing is taking this KLC province all the way up here because it's essentially it's going to be impossible for me to really not have rebellions there. And I'll have an army there that will specifically be there to destroy rebellions. And that will just essentially mean I'll get infinite number of slaves from it and that would be very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, upgrade that. Uh, we'll upgrade. Yeah, we'll upgrade that as well. Feared by all. Uh, actually, do I want to no upgrade friends, that instead? Only victims. No friends, only victims. Hey, eh? that's a that's a pretty yeah. interesting kind of thing. Uh, we'll give him. That's a uh, more public order and less. Slave decline as well. Or if it actually tells me what the decline rate is. Decline per turn is sitting at a 0%. So we literally do not lose any slaves at the moment. We're nowhere near capacity though. So, but that's very good. Right. That's what we want. Uh, to have a quick look at what there is. I can't actually recruit anyone at the moment, but there's no one good, so Murderous that's Lord. good. So that's where I'm going to leave this episode. Um, do the usual of liking, subscribing, and all that. Um, I'm going to try and look at taking the Iron Frost Glacier soon. But I don't know if that's really going to be possible at the moment. We're going to have to take out uh, some of these beastmen. We've still got uh, him to deal with. Though he's probably de also t he's got to deal with. Uh, rats. So our income at the moment is getting to a point where I might be able to get another lord. And that will depend on how much money and stuff I have. It's a disciplined one there at the moment, but disciplined isn't really what we want for this one. We want spiteful. And she's also a death sorceress. And I'd rather get... Yeah, spiteful's definitely the one we want. Look at that. Uh, five percent more weapon strength. Ooh, yes. Uh, but for now, like I said, that's going to be it. So do the usual of liking and subscribing, and well, subscribing at least. And we'll be back next time. Hopefully, we'll do some be get some beastmen fights in. Maybe one or two against some undead, and hopefully, we'll be looking at hitting these guys up north and turning that into our uh, slave factory. So, until next time, hope you have a good one. I'll see you then.